Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Hannah Jamur, TME leader, part of TDNR. In this video, we're gonna look at how Cisco XDR integrates with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, which is the EDR solution by Microsoft. This video is an update as of March 2024 on the integration itself, covering how it actually contributes to incident creation, to enrichment and investigation, to the asset visibility, and also the response. So let's get started. First, we're gonna find a specific incident in XDR. Gonna, once you click on the incident, you can see on the right side, all the information coming up about this incident, including the Maitre tactics and techniques. This information is leveraged from the exporting solutions, which in this case now include MS Defender. You can look also at the AI generated short and long description that explain exactly how the attack occurred in specific details. This is part of the intelligence that XDR brings in. And then you can see the, all the different assets. Once you click on view the incident details, you can see obviously here all the uh, actual overview of that specific incidents, the elements including users, devices, endpoints. Of course, you could expand and look at that, but that's exactly not the scope of this. You can see on the left side, the assets, those assets could actually come from different sources, including coming from F MS Defender, and this can I look at at a later stage. Also, we can see the observables, you can see file hashes, processes, um, execution uh, of file paths and everything. All of this information is also can come from different sources, including now MS Defender. On the right side, you can see all the different detections that could be coming from different solutions, such as now, in this case, MS Defender. If I look at all the indicators, you can see some of them are coming from different endpoint solutions or different solutions, but also a lot of them now coming from Microsoft Defender for endpoint. You can see an active uh, Keiko malware was detected. You can see lateral movement and others. So this is now how an actual MS Defender contribute into incident creation which is brought in by Cisco XDR Analytics. In the detection section, we could see the actual detections where they come from. So you can see a lot of those detections coming from Microsoft Defender in this case, and what are the indicators, which endpoint is affected, and the observable associated with it. At any point in time, you can click on those actual events and look at more details. In this case, you can see the descriptions of these specific detections or events, uh, an explanation about uh, what is actually that specific event, the long description of it, what is the associated alert uh, related to that specifically, which is more related to um, uh, how actual XDR analytics is consuming the data from MS Defender. And also you can see a lot of more details coming in here, which is bringing the relationship that is detected by MS Defender into XDR. So, with this case, we're showing that the data that you get in MS Defender is gonna be transformed and used in XDR Analytics in order to show those detections in here with full details, including the arguments of the observables, the actual file paths, the commands that were executed, and all the information. Also, part of this integration you can see at the response level, um, if we focus on the containment sections, you wanna contain assets, when you click select, you can see different assets. All these assets could have different endpoint solutions. And now these assets could also have Microsoft Def Defender for endpoint, which could be also used to do mitigation of assets and devices. In this case, you could actually click, click on uh, contain the specific assets, and that would mean action will be done at the asset itself using MS Defender natively from XDR to MS Defender. So this is the different contribution into incident and also into uh, detections and response. Otherwise, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna actually copy this file hash because it's detected inside MS Defender. I'm gonna go into investigate and show how you can investigate some information and get this data back from MS Defender as well as other sources because it's part of the actual investigation process inside XDR is gonna query all the integrated solution and get you information back about that specific file hash, observable, IP, domain, whatever it is. In this case, we could look at different sources that came up with data. I'm just 
sorting out the, the sources to show you that MS Defender is there. It's it show me where it's have seen this file and also all the observables related to it. So it shows different information that relate to that specific observable, which is a file hash in this case, the uh, process arguments that were used during the execution of that specific hash in this case. And you can see all is coming from Microsoft Defender. And you can see the severity of that specific uh, event, the time when it was execu executed on, on which device also. So all this information can be seen inside XDR. And this is brought from Microsoft Defender with the enrichment and investigation capabilities. Other ways you could use MS Defender is when you look at assets and devices. This is where MS Defender for Endpoint is going to contribute into the devices or assets that are con actually consolidated inside XDR. In this case, you can see there is multiple sources, including MS Defender, Secure Endpoint, CrowdStrike, and others. And you can see different endpoints that you can see here in this environment. I'm going to choose one of those that has MS Defender. And you can see the device information, what's the OS, uh, what's the last active time, when uh, was the local IP, public IP, and you could also look at the details of that asset. If you have information coming from multiple sources, all of this information is going to be merged over here. So you can see one information related to that specific asset. And you can see if you have secure other security products enabled, you can see what they are and all the information that we're getting it from it. And from MS Defender for Endpoint, you can see these are the details that um, as information coming from MS Defender. This is how it contributes into asset information. As we have seen in the demo, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint contribution into XDR based on the integration has multiple level. First of all, incident contribution. Microsoft Defender detection could lead to an incident creation depending on uh, their actual contribution to an attack chain, or if they are part of a series of detections, that could lead to an incident creation inside XDR. Second type of contribution is at the enrichment level, where we can see an investigation can be launched automatically by the system based on an incident or manually by an analyst when they are actually doing threat hunting activity. And in this case, or in the automated case, an observable can be actually investigated leveraging the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint information, including, for example, an IP, a file hash, um, or other information that could be actually pulled out of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint based on the actual detection that we have seen. Also, we can see uh, responses. Responses can be done in different ways. We've seen a demo that you can actually launch an actual response from the incident response section inside the incident, incident management page. You could launch those on the analyst level. They can launch them manually, but also all of these responses could be automated on a file hash, on an asset, and all could be done from the automate section. It's not covered in this demo, but also all of that can be automated. At the fourth level, we see the contribution of Microsoft Defender into XDR at the asset level where we could understand all the asset information that Microsoft Defender actually collects from an endpoint that are related to the device status. We actually take this data and merge it inside the asset uh, page that we have for the centralized device management inside XDR. Few things to note about the XDR integration with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. First of all, set your expectation right. Not every detection is going to create an incident. So not every Microsoft Defender for Endpoint detection is going to create an incident inside XDR. And that's by design. This is an expected behavior because XDR is not meant to actually reflect every single noise that your environment is going to actually produce from your security solutions. The aspect is we want you to actually respond to incident when they matter. Second thing to note is the data is actually disassembled and reassembled, and it's being processed by the solution. This fact of disassembly and reassembly is not affecting the information. So whatever we are actually pulling from Microsoft Defender and we are disassembling and reassembling it, we are not losing the data. The data is kept and stored within the XDR source. The third thing to note is the time to process. Of course, the data is being deassembled, analyzed, and then it could lead to an incident creation if it's a part maybe of 
an attack chain or part um, of a specific type of detections or advanced detection, maybe based on the machine learning or AI. This means a detection in Microsoft Defender for endpoint will not instantly lead to a creation of an incident in XDR. There is a processing time that's going to vary depending on how the data is frequently pulled is between one minute and five and how much the data is actually related to other detections and how fast we can see this data coming in. All of that is going to contribute to the time to process this actual information and lead to an incident creation. Hopefully this video has been informative for you guys and you've enjoyed it and tune in for other videos.